Hi guys, Liz Truss spoke to Nick Ferrari of LBC about whether benefits would rise with inflation. Now, if they don't, it will mean people who are already struggling to make ends meet will be pushed into destitution. Truss was asked why those on pensions would benefit from their incomes rising with inflation, and the Prime Minister said it was because they can't work. Which, thanks to my friend Manjika explained to me, is false. Have a listen to this. You Yesterday you said that pensions will rise in line with inflation, but not the same it would appear with benefits. Why are pensioners more important than those who are on benefits? Well, I committed during the leadership election campaign that we would protect the triple lock, which means that pensioners yes. uh, get either 2.5% prices or wages, whichever is the higher. And it's very difficult when you are a pensioner to adjust your income in any way. Um, people are facing higher prices. Of course, what we're doing on the energy price guarantee will help people uh, with those prices. Right. Now, but those in receipt no of benefits. No decision has been made yet on benefit uprating. That decision will be taken in due but, course. But I will repeat that. So why are pensioners more important than those in receipt of benefits? Well, they they can rest assured. People are in a different situation uh, depending on which stage of life they're in. And I think it is right that we made a commitment to pensioners that we would protect the triple lock. I'm sticking with that commitment. As I've said, no decision so, so, so has been made. So someone in their Nick. 70s is more important than a young mum with two kids? I'm not saying that at but all. But you just said I'm... eight different ages in their life. What did you mean, Prime Minister? Well, what I mean is when, when people are on a fixed income, when they're pensioners, it is quite hard to adjust. I think it's a different situation for people who are in the position to to be able to work. But of so course they should go we'll, and get a job? Of course we will look at that. Well, what I want to do is make sure that we are helping more people into work. We're helping people get more hours in work. That's what the we've already announced as part right. of our mini budget. <sighs> okay. Many people on benefits can't work. It's not possible for them to work. They can't just do extra hours. They can't just get a better job. They can't actually work. So they're going to be punished. Now, the other side of the scale is where she talked about pensioners. Pensioners are on fixed incomes and they can't do anything about that. That's not entirely true. Some pensioners are actually still working and there's provisions made available for pensioners to continue to work. So I don't know why Liz Truss is approaching this as, well, pensioners can't uh, get any more income because they're on a fixed income. They can't do anything about that. And people who are on benefits obviously can work more or do extra hours or change their job or whatever. She's missing a huge chunk of people who can't work on benefits and pensioners who are actually working. Now, either she doesn't understand this or she's lying. And this, you know, is a little bit similar to the £2,500 limit, as she said, or cap on energy bills, is that she doesn't understand or she's lying. Because if benefits do not increase with inflation, people who are already struggling at the moment are going to see their energy bills rise. They're seeing uh, inflation eat into whatever income they have. There are, there are people who are on benefits, yes, and are working, but it's becoming more and more difficult for them to survive as well. Benefits need to increase in, at least in line with inflation so that people can survive. There's no other way around this. This idea, yeah, just go out and get another job. Just go out and ask for more hours. Many people are working every hour they can. And it's still not enough. They're going to food banks. They're likely going to warm banks as soon as they open. This is unacceptable. And Liz Truss, once again, talking about things that she doesn't understand. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.